Yes, this is, this is up at Deep Creek. So this was the year that we couldn't get through the ice. At the Westminster State Police Barrack, Troop Commander Captain Brian Smith shows athlete Josh Smith some of the fundraisers that he's been a part of over the years for Special Olympics Maryland. But this year, he's taking on a new challenge. First time trying to do the super plunge, I have always thought, wow, that's something that I need to do before the end of my career. It's called a cold bath. I like that. While Josh is a veteran super plunger, Captain Smith is no stranger himself to the bay. For more than two decades, the captain has participated in police plunges and the law enforcement torch run fundraiser. His efforts earned him the Flame of Hope Award for his unwavering support. I will cherish that forever. I feel like I won the, the Heisman. <laughs> the motto of the Special Olympics is, um, let me win, and if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt is truly what it's all about and the joy that they bring in that. Both Smiths, who are not related by the way, are still trying to reach their $10,000 goals ahead of the Super Plunge. And they have an invitation now that a new governor is in office, a challenge before the main event on February the 4th. We have a new, go we have a new governor it now. Just was yesterday. We, get him in we need to get him in there, right? Yes. That's right. It's become such a huge event with the community involved, the corporate plunge and the school plunge, but when everybody pulls in there, our shield that says the Maryland State Police, and to watch it grow over the past, um, I guess, 27 plus years now, 26 years, has been incredible. Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.